On June 19, 2013, following the G8 summit, President Obama stood at the Brandenburg Gate in Berlin, Germany, and gave a speech about nuclear proliferation. And so as president, I've strengthened our efforts to stop the spread of nuclear weapons and reduce the number and role of America's nuclear weapons. President Obama said he wanted to bring nuclear warheads to their lowest level since the 1950s. But in that same month, his administration simultaneously unveiled a $275 billion plan over the course of 25 years to modernize its nuclear warheads and production capacity. In response to the administration's move, Greg Malos of the Los Alamos Study Group said that this proposed budget reflects bad management, bad priorities for the nation, and a lack of political courage and even savvy on the part of the president, his party, and his appointees. It is a real disappointment, a travesty of management and policy. Now, according to a new report by the U.S. Government Accountability Office, the government's gross mismanagement of nuclear weapons also extends to the nuclear infrastructure that's already in place. You see, one arm of the Department of Energy is called the National Nuclear Security Administration, or the NNSA. It's supposed to improve national security through the military application of nuclear energy. But whether it's been able to do that effectively is questionable. Just take Los Alamos National Laboratory, located in Los Alamos, New Mexico. After a seven-year, $213 million upgrade to the security system that protects the lab's most sensitive nuclear bomb-making facilities, the security system does not work and will require millions of dollars in improvements. But aside from the wasted money, even the placement of the laboratory is problematic. You see, these facilities sit atop a fault line and remain vulnerable to collapse and therefore dangerous radiation releases. But let's go from New Mexico to Oak Ridge, Tennessee, where the price tag for a new uranium processing facility has grown sevenfold in eight years to more than $6 billion, all due to a number of structural problems that weren't caught until the final stages of the building's development. Now, those are just two examples, but the reality is that almost all of the major projects under the NNSA are seeing major errors in development. According to the U.S. Government Accountability Office, 10 of the agency's major projects combined are 38 years behind schedule and $16 billion over budget. Now, advocates uh, say that spending is what we need to keep the country safe. But critics like U.S. Senator Claire McCaskill, chairwoman of the Senate Homeland Security Financial and Contracting Oversight Committee, say that the agency, which is run by 92,000 contractors, has turned into a massive jobs program. She said, unfortunately for the taxpayer, cost overruns, scheduled delays, and technical failures are the rule, not the exception. We need to find a better way to do this because we just can't afford the status quo anymore. It's all a result of years of ineffective accountability and a nearly automatic increase in funds. The increases have been so large that many are calling this budget bloated. And that means it may be time for a nuclear diet. In Washington, Amira David, RT.